was it like getting back together after that match when you, you met up with Ireland? Was it a bit awkward for either of you? No, never awkward. Um, obviously, yeah, when we were both going for the prize of obviously getting to the Premier League, for sure, is obviously, uh, you know, the best of uh, enemies then. But, um, yeah, no, listen, when you play for your country, you know, we've, uh, we've got a great, great bond in this squad. So, yeah, obviously we spoke about the game, you know, and just in general, but, um, no, there was no awkwardness. Richard, did it, did it take a bit of time to get over that disappointment? How long did it take, do you feel, before you got it out of your system? Or have you got it out of your system? Um, yeah, I think naturally when you lose a big game like that, it's, it hurts for sure, obviously. But, um, no, I was just very proud of our group. We had a great group last year and, you know, to achieve what we kind of did to get to there was, was an amazing. And we had some great moments along the way. Obviously, we couldn't quite get over the final hurdle. But, um, yeah, like I said, it, it, it hurts. It hurts for a few days. But... Um, yeah, I think when you get a little bit older, you learn to deal with these things a little bit better. And we had a younger group as well, so my main my main thing was to get around the the, the younger guys. And um, yeah, listen, it hurt, but you know I was proud. Like I said, I was I was proud of how 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 well we played. Connor, was it one of the the great days of your life? Yeah, well, obviously, listen, it was fantastic. Um, you know, I had the heartbreak of last year. Um, obviously, it was it was it was great to get over the line this year. You know, but out of uh, you know respect to Richard, I don't really want to go on about it and, and gloat about it. So, yeah, was delighted, but that's all I really want to say about it, to be honest. Did, did you sort of go over and say hello to him and sort of make a point of consoling him when you, when you met up? Yeah, listen, me and, me and Keezy got on very well. Um, you know, we had a word about it after the game. We had a word about it in camp and, um, you know, we crack on and, uh, you know, um, we've got two games to concentrate on and that's the, that's the most important thing now. Is it an advantage, do you think, for you two to have played so recently? Because so many of the players in the squad, and it, it's true even in the Champions League final, wasn't it, uh, hadn't played competitive matches for quite a few weeks. Do you feel that you're maybe you know, sharper, perhaps, than, than, than others at this stage of the season? Yeah, maybe so. Um, you know, it was a long way to the, to the playoff final. Um, yeah, it was great to get a game under our belt, I suppose, so so close to these kind of games, you know. So, yeah, maybe that might be the case. Um, you know, we obviously kept training, had the playoff final, so um, and I imagine that myself and Keezy would be feeling um, good and ready to go. Richard, in a way, you're glad you haven't had a break. Yeah, definitely. I think if you ask any player when you're kind of in the rhythm of playing games and training still, it's uh, it's definitely helps an advantage. Um, I say the guys, obviously, before we come in, have been working... You know, very hard and you know had a good camp so far but yeah naturally I think uh, like like Connor said I think naturally for us it's uh, it's a little bit easier to get back up to to kind of level we want to get up to because we've been training hard and obviously played in a big game so yeah I, I think in training we felt we felt pretty pretty good already and pretty strong so um yeah, hopefully, hopefully that will be uh, an advantage for us, for sure. L last time round in March, you had the Gibraltar game first and then the Georgia game, which is arguably the bigger game. So you were preparing for the Gibraltar game. But this time, with Denmark being first, is it good that you've got quite a few days now to plan how you're going to go about this match? Yeah, I think so. I think um, we know how tough the game's going to be, for sure. Obviously, they're a great team, a uh, great country. But, um, yeah, listen, we, we've had two good results and... Um, yeah, I just think I just think the guys are excited. To be honest, I think the guys are looking forward to it. Like I say, the build-up's been uh, you know a little bit longer. There always are when you play in the in the in the summer qual uh, qualifiers. But um, yeah, I, I think now for sure, since obviously everyone's been able to meet up, I think the managers obviously been able to do a little more work with us and um, obviously building up towards this game. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to the challenge of it. Um, you know, we want to qualify for a major championship, so you know you're going to have to face these countries along the way, these, these countries, and hopefully we can uh, use the confidence off the back of the two results that we had and um, hopefully go there with a, a positive mindset. Yeah, Connor, not just the two recent results, but the two games against Denmark, when you sort of stifled them and got what would be a, a brilliant draw, wouldn't it, for you, if you were to do that on Friday? Yeah, um, yeah, that was the case the last time, I suppose. Um, you know, it's going to be a little bit different um, style of play this, this time. I think we showed that against Georgia. Um, you know, we won't be going there for a draw. You know, if we got a positive result like that in the end of the game, we'd be delighted, of course. But um, I think we'll we'll be going to have a little bit more of a go than we ha than we've had previous. Um, you know, and hopefully we can come back to Dublin um, with a good result um, heading into the Gibraltar game. Excellent, thank you, <laughs> Richard. Um, just going back briefly to to the to the final. Does the disappointment of, of what happened make you you as an individual and Derby as a team more determined than ever for next season already? Yeah, of course it does. I think whenever you suffer kind of you know a bit of a heartbreak, 
um, it does make you more determined to kind of achieve your goal the next season. And um, yeah, that's what you've got to do as, as, any, as any player. You've got to try and you know look back on the season, the positives of it, and then and then realise what we can need to improve on, and hopefully go that one stage further. But the championship's such a you know a tough league. It's, you know, like obviously me and Connor would say, it's this year has been it's been a you know a really tough league. So um, you know, it's only getting stronger and stronger. But um, yeah, I think I think like you say, the group we kind of created and what, and what the manager was creating at Derby was um, you know something something special. So hopefully we can uh, you know regroup, get some get some quality additions in, and um, yeah, hopefully you know attack attack it because last five six years have always been kind of challenging near the top of the league. So. We just got to make sure that we keep our standards high and and and, and give it a, another opportunity. The manager said yesterday that you personally wouldn't be affected this week by by what had happened. Do you think Christian Eriksen will be affected by what happened to him on Saturday night? Um, no, yeah, listen, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I think you know you're a professional player, and like I said before, of course it hurts because you know you're in a big game and you're in a big final, and obviously you want to win. <laughs> and when you don't win, it's, it's, it's it hurts, but. Um, like I said before, I think, you know, from from my point of view, it was, uh, you know, I was proud of the group. Like I say, the group, we had a really young group and a lot of people wrote us off and didn't really expect us to do what we did. And like I say, just along the journey, along the way, we had some amazing performances. Um, and me individually, you know, I had, a, I had a really good season. So, like I say, I'm just taking the positives out of it. It would have been nice to have finished off to be in the Premier League because that's every player's dream. But um, like I say... Connor, Connor, Connor deserved his moment, and, and like you say, we couldn't quite manage it. So, no, I, I don't think you look at it once you once you get into the pitch or once you get back into football. I think you kind of just turn into autopilot, and that's what you love doing. And like I say, there's no better feeling than when you're you know back on the pitch playing and, and, and playing, especially playing for your country. Connor, can I just ask you? Um, we were speaking to John Egan a couple of weeks ago and talking about how sometimes you have to take a step backwards to move forward. You, you had a a similar situation. I mean, is this a message to people that, you know, if it doesn't work out at first, there are still great things ahead if you, if you keep working hard? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, you know, myself and John probably have had a, a similar route. Um, I've had to go down to the League Two and work my way back up. Um, you know, it's been some tough days along the way, um, some good days, of course. Um, but yeah, you need to keep working hard, keep believing in yourself. Um, and luckily for, for me, along the way, I've had a bit of luck as well. And, um, you know, absolutely delighted, of course. Um, but, yeah, it's been a, a fantastic journey. And um, like you said, some players get lucky enough to, to start at the top and stay there. Um, you know, I've had to do it the hard way, like I said. So it's been great. Yeah. And just, just finally, would two positive results this week cap the perfect season for you? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, it would be great to finish on with two great results, two positive results. Um, you know, Denmark, it won't be easy over there. They're a good side um, with some very good players. But, um, you know, like I said earlier on, we've had two good results against uh, Gibraltar and, uh, and Georgia. So confidence is high in this group as well. And, um, you know, we'll be looking to go over there and, uh, and get a good result and bring it back to Dublin. Uh, Richard, is our fam familiarity with Denmark any kind of, kind of an advantage, do you think? Yeah, uh, we actually spoke about this briefly yesterday. I think, um, obviously, having played them so regularly over the last kind of few you know last year it's um it's definitely we know each other quite well for sure and um yeah obviously when we was looking kind of you know their team it's not really changed too much whereas ours has probably has changed a little bit you know obviously with the with the new manager coming in and kind of like kind of said they're a different kind of style of play hopefully and um and, and, and trying to get after games a little bit more so but yeah I think going into the game we definitely know each other quite well for sure and um yeah, I think, like I say, it's a great challenge. These are, this is what it's about. This is what you want to do when you're playing for your country. It's, 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 a, it's a fantastic honour. And like I say, you want to play against these you know, big countries, big players. And, and like I say, we want, to, we want to qualify for a major tournament. So, like I say, we've got to make sure that we, we, we keep trying to do the right things and, 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 and come back with a positive result to Dublin. Yeah, Connor, just what you were saying there about the positive results. Uh, Christian Eriksen was saying after that goalless draw in Aries that Ireland were scared to attack. Do you want to go there and prove him wrong that you're not afraid to attack? No, listen, we won't be going out to prove Christian Eriksen wrong. We'll we'll go over there with our own game plan. Um, like I said, different management then. Maybe that was a little bit of a different style. Um, you know, against Georgia, um, you probably saw maybe we were a bit more aggressive on the front foot, and um, you know that's our style of play at the minute. Moving forward, it won't change against Denmark. Um, you know, heading into the game on Friday night, so um, we'll have a little bit of a different, like I said, game plan style of play. So. Um, you know, we'll go about our business the way we feel is best. Yeah, 
Yeah, Mick was saying yesterday that one, that one of their strengths is the fact that they're just so familiar with themselves. It's the same manager, same player, same style of play. Can we surprise them at all? Yeah, hopefully. That's what we're going to be going over there and trying to do. Um, you know, listen, they've they've a very good um, side, good player, uh, good players. You know, like you said, they're they're familiar. They've been with each other for a while now. But um, you know, we've we've had a good um, camp last time, good camp this time. We're trying to get to, to know each other as much as possible, take information from the manager in as much as possible, and listen, we'll be ready to go. And listen, we'll we'll, we'll try and give it everything and and, and uh, you know come back with a good result. Yeah. And just one quick one for Richard. Frank Lampard, you worked with him this season. He's been linked with the Chelsea job. Would you be sad to see him leave if it if it did come to that? Yeah, for sure. I, you know, I can't speak highly enough of uh, of the gaffer. You know, working with him the first season. You know, he's going to have you know a fantastic career as a manager for sure. Um, I think naturally, obviously, with the speculation that's going on regarding obviously Sarri, the the, the gaffer's obviously going to get. You know, mentioned because of the legend, legendary status he's got at that football club, and also done doing such a good job with us. But yeah, I'm, 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 I'm as far as I know, you know, so I'm, I'm, he's looking forward to next season as much as as much as I am. And like I say, I, it'd be a shame to see him leave for sure. But I think, you know, in this in in this industry, when you're doing a good job and uh, you've got you you you're Frank Lampard, then you're going to get you know linked with with jobs. So hopefully he stays. Like I say, I've really enjoyed working with him. Um, and you know he's really improved, you know the the, the football club and, and and me as a player as well. And I've got a good relationship with him. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully that that keep, continues. Thanks, lads. Richard, having played in the two 0 all draws against Denmark, does that give you confidence personally that you can go and shut them out and then maybe nick a goal? Yeah, I think you know any any time you keep a clean sheet as a as a defender, you know it's always a, a positive sign. Um, yeah, like I say, we we were we were obviously you know we didn't probably offer so much going forward so you know uh, it, was a, it was a lot of uh, bodies around the box um, whereas Connor said there we, we, we want to try and kind of be more on the front foot and kind of you know stop them playing a little bit higher up the pitch and, and, and try and win the ball back a little bit higher up the pitch so we can like you say hopefully try and attack them um, you know it's never that easy but like you say there's going to be moments in the game where you're going to have to defend because you know they're a quality quality players but um, yeah listen I think we're confident we like to say there's a real Real good energy about um, you know us now, and I think there's a lot of buzz about you know Ireland at the moment. So like I say, we've got to keep that momentum going, and we've got to keep doing the things that have got us the two results in the last the last two games. And um, yeah, so we're we're looking forward to the challenge of it. And just a quick one for you, Connor. Um, under the old regime, you kind of played in a couple of different positions, a bit deeper at times. Now under McCarthy, do you feel like I suppose you're kind of more settled in the position you're in now? Yeah, a little bit, I suppose. Yeah. Um, I was in and out with the, probably with the last manager. Um, you know, very grateful for him, for him to to give me my caps that I, that he gave me. Um, you know, it looks like at the minute that this manager's got a settled kind of formation. Um, and if I'm going to play, I know where I'm going to play. Know my roles, which kind of makes it easier for a player to know. Um, so listen, um, it's been great the last camp, a couple of good results. Um, you know, and like you said, a settled formation and, and a settled kind of. Um, influence with uh, good tactics and, and so on is, is great to have. Yeah, and he speaks very highly of you whenever he mentions you. Do you think now that you can, I suppose, kick on and become maybe a main man in this yeah, squad? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Um, you know, I felt like um, I've done well the last couple of games. Um, you know, it's great to hear hear that when he, when he talks. Um, only gives you confidence. Um, so, you know, I'd like to repay the confidence he's got in me and um, keep um, playing well for him. Uh, yeah, Richard, um, just first for yourself. Uh, you spoke earlier about um, <coughs> how you felt it was your role at Derby to really look after the younger lads after the disappointment of the of the defeat. Um, Mick yesterday spoke about uh, he really commended your positive attitude arriving, especially coming um, from your situation. Um, do you think you you play, have a similar role here with the Ireland squad in terms of you know being a senior figure and really lead by example with that positive attitude? Um, yeah, I think so. I think I've naturally kind of probably more gone into that role. Um, in in this group, obviously, we've had some you know, great people. You know, people like Chasey, You know, obviously, Richie Dunn, Robbie Keane. You know, these senior figures that have kind of when I got in the squad that have kind of obviously now you know retired. And um, so yeah, I think naturally I've kind of fallen into more into that role. Um, so yeah, no, I, I, I think it's just my character anyway. I think um, you know I've always tried to just get the best out of myself, and um, that's all I've tried to do. And you know, every day in training, I just try and leave it all out there, and I think I just try and lead by example in that sense, and like I say, get around certain people. I think, 
you know, when you've probably been a captain and you've been around a lot of players and played a lot of games, you naturally kind of get a feeling for certain players who kind of respond well to different things. So, yeah, I've just I've just tried to just tried to get around a few guys and, and like you say, I want everyone to try to play at the best level because if they're playing, if we're all playing at our best level, then we've got a better opportunity of winning games. Thank you. And Connor, just um, as a follow-up, do you, as a player, when you see Richard coming in with that attitude, does that really make you? And is, do you see it in the other players that, that they are inspired by someone like Richard coming in with that with that with that attitude? Yeah, of course. Listen, um, Rich is, is very experienced in this group. Played a lot of games. Um, captain his, his club for many years. You know, so um, you know, Rich is one of the, the leaders in this group. So it's great to see. Um, you know. Him speaking to young lads along with people like Seamus Coleman and all that is, is only good for the group and um, they lead by example and it's up to us to follow, follow in, that, in the same way. And just on your own, um, your own uh, I suppose your own attitude towards this game, um, coming into this game, the, the perception I suppose is that the game could be won or lost in midfield. Um, you're coming off such a high profile game, coming up now against real Premier League type players. Um, is it, a, is it a, a match you're going to relish and really take confidence coming into? Of course, yeah, I have to, um, yeah, I have to relish it. Um, you know, I want to, I want to play well again. Of course, um, you know, I want to win the battle, as you say in there. Um, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. We have to step up. You know, they're they're high quality players, but you know, we we'll relish the challenge going into the game, and um, hopefully, we get a good result. Connor, um, have you seen much of uh, Shuna from Ajax and, and Delaney from Dortmund, the two Danish players who they, they seem to they, they play a big role in that Danish midfield? Yeah, obviously they're uh, they're very good players. Um, you know, obviously I've been involved in in the in the World Cup um, playoff game. Um, you know, I was I didn't play them games, but I was on the bench. So, you know, I see what they're about. Um, of course, um, you know, I was involved in the game over at their place as well. Um, not so long ago. So, you know, I've been I've been around this and and, and know what they're about a little bit. Obviously, we've done more work on work on them this week as well. So, um, you know, really looking forward to it. They're very good players, but um, you know, I, I'm I'm looking forward to the challenge. How do you take them on? Uh, listen, the same way as uh, as we had in the last couple of games, especially Georgia, we just want to try and get after the ball a little bit more than we have previously, maybe o over at their place, try and win the ball a little bit more high up and um, hopefully we can nick something along the way. And Richard, just um, how important has this last couple of weeks, like you could almost say it's probably the most pivotal week for a couple of weeks for, for Mick McCarthy in the campaign because it's the first time he's really had a prolonged time with all the players on the training pitch. How important do you feel that's been? Yeah, I think... You ask any manager, I think the longer he gets to work with players, I think, you know, it's definitely, you probably don't get that luxury so much um, when we do meet up during the season, you know, it's a, probably a shorter time to work with players. So, if anything, it's probably been a bit more of a positive thing that he can kind of, you know, work, work with the guys and we can work on what we've been trying to build so far since he's become manager. And um, so, yeah, like I said, there's a great, there's a great buzz around the group, you know, it's been been good to come back in and see the see the guys and, and be around the guys because you know like I say we're creating hopefully something special now and um, I think that's key I think that's always been key to you know us as a as a, us as a country having that kind of commitment and that kind of togetherness you know that's when we come alive and that's when we we, we produce magical stuff so um, yeah it's, like I say it's been good I think the manager's been been pleased like I say the, the, the guys have been working hard and then obviously me Connor and me, Connor and Glenn have obviously met up now and, 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 and can feel that good atmosphere. And like I say, I think with us kind of not finishing too much longer, we know we've been able to come in and kind of help the group again, pick the group up again. And um, so, yeah, exciting, exciting to, to, to hopefully play in the game and, um, and get a positive result. Cheers, lads. All right. Cheers.